Someone by the name of Alex Hutchinson, he goes by Bang Bang Click on Twitter. He actually came out and he said that uh, when it comes to content creators streaming, that they should have to license the game that they're actually streaming. So it, it made an uproar on Twitter. Oh, of course, with a take that hot, you know, there's going to be a lot of, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of, you know, backfire from it. How do you guys feel about uh, the point that he made in saying that, you know, A, if streaming is supposed to be a business, you know, you're trying to make it a business. Any other business would license my product so that they can make money off of it. So how do you guys feel about it? Man, I don't... Okay, first off, the stadium is a piece of trash. Um, So you already kind of lose merit from that. So it's like, I feel like you just kind of... You know, I'm not even going to say that. What I'm going to say is, so you know what? <clears throat> I think McDonald's should uh make us pay for the license for their food, right? Uh, when, like to, to share it. So if I go to McDonald's and buy a quarter pound of milk with fries, I have to pay McDonald's to share my fries with somebody else. Because right then they're, they're not, I don't own those fries. I didn't make those fries, right? I can eat it, but I, if I share it, I have to pay, right? Is that, am, I, am I correct? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if he, maybe he, I'm assuming he understands what streaming is and, and like how it works. But at the same time, it's like, do you know that streaming is not guaranteed at all? Like, I'm pretty sure 90%, probably 95% of the people on Twitch are, like, just affiliates or not even close to partner. Like, not even, like, making, you know, decent money from this. So it's like, you spend $60 on the game, sometimes more. Sometimes you spend $100, $100 plus on the collector's edition or whatever. Or transactions in the game. So you probably spent more than just 60 So... Let's say, I mean, I'm a smaller streamer, and I've had people buy games from just me playing the game. I don't make no money off that, and I just got you a sale. So I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's, what's the, okay, the $60 is to get the game, but to be able to share it or whatever to show it. Like, do you know how much free publicity and sales people get from streams? Like, come on. So you go, like, what does that count for? And like he was talking about, well, you know, uh, I saw he was like, well, people, they go for the game. Most of the time, people go for the person because it's like, I can be playing the same game that Ninja or this pro player is playing, but you know why they're watching him? Because he's not only because he's probably popular, but because he's also a pro, he probably has a real specific skill set for, oh, he, he's the only person that can snipe like this or something. That's that person's skill that is making the stream interesting, not the game itself. You just turn on the game, that's the game. But the person's personality or their skill is what is what brings you in and invests you into that person. Dr. Disrespects plays all these games, but you you watch Dr. Disrespect because he's a crazy character persona. You don't watch because he's playing Kai. Yeah, he's good at the games he plays, but it's like, I'm here to see him. I'm here to see him do all that stuff. Like that doesn't come with the game. He's the reason why that's happening. So. I understand what he's saying about the licensing, but I just feel like the fact that there's already so much money that they're making from that. I might have the, a possible follow. I don't get anything from followers, a possible subscription. And the smaller you are, it's hard to get subscriptions like that. So it's like for you to tell me I need to not only buy the game, but then buy the license of the game. Like, I think that needs to be like some type of regulation on that. If, if that would ever to happen, like let's say if you're a streamer that makes a certain amount or you're kind of popular, let's say maybe a certain X amount from your game goes to like a license fee or something. But if you're just a regular streamer like me, like I'm not getting nothing from that. So why charge me to like play pay for that? You know, if I'm not really getting anything anyway, you're getting more out of this than I am. I'm getting your game exposure. So I, I don't know. I just feel like he might be a little bit disconnected from what streaming actually entails. You don't just turn on and go live and just have a lot of people come in and like, oh, yeah, you can make money. I've gotten paid from Twitch twice. And there was like six months apart each payment. And no, and the payment wasn't even more than $200. So it's like, you're going to make me pay and I'm not even really getting nothing. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, Devin. Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, you were right in regards to being disconnected. But I would say not a little. I would say a lot, like a lot disconnected. Um yeah, I was when I when I heard about this, I was kind of like, "What are you even talking about, man?" Uh, so we're gonna pay a lot. We're gonna pay for the game, and then we're gonna pay a license 
to play it on stream. Huh? Does I got to pay for it one like you might as well just turn every game into a subscription fee game at that point then, I guess, right? Because I'm just gonna keep playing, paying for it, pay 15 bucks a month, every month for every single game I play on stream. What if you don't play the game on stream all the time? What if you play the game on stream from time to time? What if you play it like once a week? Would you still have to pay the same amount of money that somebody who plays it every day would have to play? I mean, who's gonna decide how much you have to pay for that? What? Or who's gonna decide what the rates are on the licensing? fees and stuff like that i mean what it does it to me i mean it okay in a business sense it it does it kind of makes sense i guess but like Devin said it's like it's if you're not making any money off of the uh off of it then you're not i mean you know what i mean it, it would make sense if you were like a big streamer making tons of money and they're saying hey you know what we're gonna ask for a cut of that money because you're making a ton of money off our game i'd be like okay maybe but what like but at the same time it it like you said it's about the person playing the game like the the game is just the um first point of contact when you really think about it that's that's what gets people in there most of the time like that's that's what that's the poster on the front of your of your door that gets people to come into your store to buy your product that's what the game is when they get in there what keeps them in there is you the game is not going to keep them in there. They can go anywhere to get um to watch that game. They can go to YouTube. They can go play the games themselves. You're the one who's selling it. So technically speaking, if we're to, uh, if we're really going to make a thing about business, you should be paying me more money because I'm bringing more attention to your game because of my personality. Okay, they're coming in here to see me to see me. Your game just happens to be there on the side. Matter of fact, you know what I should do from now on. I'm gonna make it so I'm the big screen and the game is the little screen all the time. That's it. The guy, I'm the big screen now. The game is the little screen because that's what the people came to see. That's it. We're done. Like you know what I mean. And then I'm gonna send a letter to Square Enix like after uh, my play of Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 15 again or Final Fantasy 14. I'll be like, hey Square, you know there are people coming in here watching me play your game. You need to start paying me because these people are showing up to see me and they just happen to see your game. You're getting free a free promotion. You gotta start paying for that, man. You can't just you know start making money off of me like while I'm playing your game. You should be grateful, grateful that I'm playing your game on stream. You're gonna have to start kicking back some of those profits, man. You gotta have to start kicking back some of those profits. Give me a link, people like those referral links, you know, and like I can start getting paid. You know what I mean? I mean that's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. I mean if you're going to going to put it that way, like you, you're the game is only there to get people to talk to you. So like people don't come for the they come for the game, but they don't stay for the game. They stay for you. They stay for the for for like you know companionship for making a bond with somebody. So it's like oh you should have to start paying a license. You know what man? What, what's this guy? He's involved with Google Stadia or something like that. Don't can't we all see that this is the last act of a desperate man to stay relevant that's that's what happened you know people trying to stay relevant in a time where they can't go outside <laughs> i can't go outside what do i do oh i got it i i got it i'll put this tweet on twitter and now everybody's talking about me matter of fact you know what we should do just stop talking about it just stop talking about it it's just a, a, a desperate cry for attention a desperate cry for attention. There we go. It's like, I mean, you, your statement didn't even make sense in the first place. Yo, you're lucky we gave you any attention in the first place, man. Yo, you. in a couple of weeks, no one will remember you. All right, I'm done, guys. Sorry about that. It's funny. Uh, when Evan was talking about making himself the big picture um, over the game, I That's couldn't funny. help but think of uh, Tony Baker with a look at who you came to see. <laughs> Yeah, but um, anyway, <laughs> staying on topic, to hit on two of the p main points that uh, the Alex guy referenced, he said with films, you um, you have to buy a license to show those um, if you have like a public setting for it. And I won't get into the legalities of that, but for one, a movie and a game, in terms of licensing, they are not the same experience. Like a film is, for the most part, a film is like a one-off experience. People go to the theater or you buy it on a physical media, digital, whatever. And once you see it, unless you want to watch it again, that's kind of it. So in terms of licensing, I could see why 
you would show a film and you'd have to buy the license for that if you're going to show it at a public gathering. If you're just showing it at home, like for a group of like four or five people, that's whatever. They don't care about that. But if you're showing it at like a gathering of like over 50 to 100 or plus people, then yes, you would need the license for that. For a game, however, with the way the games work, the way I play the game isn't necessarily the way that somebody else would play the game. So it's a different experience. So when you watch somebody playing a game and it's like, yo, this looks cool. I really would like to buy this and try it for myself. You know, streaming is the promotion of games. And it's funny how even uh, other developers and companies are kind of hitting back at the guy's take and how, like, especially look at a game like Fall Guys. Without streaming, Fall Guys would be nothing. Like, nobody would care about Fall Guys or even like Among Us. Among Us, both Fall Guys and Among Us, those games got popular through streaming. If people had to buy licenses for those kind of games, none of that would happen. And I guess you could make the argument that for maybe like bigger games, if they want to do licenses, that's fine. And then for the small games, there is no license. But that's something that would have to have been implemented like a long time ago. You can't just insert that into the way the streaming process works now because that's just... It, it just wouldn't make sense. And then for the second point that he referred to, um, it's about making sure that developers get more money. Okay. My big problem with that, and uh, I, one of my friends, he's talked about this too, is that a lot of people think that with the recent um, increase in price on games, and if they were to implement like some kind of um, – uh, thing with what we're talking about with the streaming like they had like an extra tax on that or whatever that that would go to the v developers no the contract the people who are contracted and make the games they're not going to see any of this money all of it is just going to go right back to the publisher who's already pulling in record-breaking profits with dlc and the games already every single year we see the stats on these games how the profits are getting higher and higher and these publishers are making more and more money do you really think that the contract workers who make these games are seeing that money no so if we did implement some kind of licensing fee on these games the contractors aren't going to see it it's going to go straight to ea go straight to ubisoft go straight to capcom all those who are already pulling in record profits. So what essentially this guy is saying is he wants to make the rich richer. And that is stupid. <laughs> like I said, if it was an argument to make, to put more money in the pockets of the people who actually work on the games, like the people who experience crunch and all this, I could somewhat see it. But if this money is just going to go to the publisher, no, that's, that's the Bugs Bunny meme. No. I'll just say that if, if they did institute some kind of licensing fee, Say goodbye to YouTube Gaming and Twitch just because nowhere near as many people are going to stream on it. So those services are going to go down in demand. So pretty much he's asking for the death of streaming, and I don't think anybody wants that. So, yeah, bad take overall. <laughs> I think the only way I feel like it would be fair to do something like this, the only way I feel like it could be like a a sense, like a making, a, making sense out of this would be, let's say you buy the game and there's an option for five dollars extra, you get access to like a uh, shared license. So this means if you sh you can stream the game without, you know, any problems, or you just want the game like where well, you you bought a base game for sixty dollars, but you can't share it. That's the only thing I can see making sense in that way. It's like, oh, oh I'm a streamer, so I'm just go ahead and spend the five extra dollars for the shared license or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how he envisions doing that, like. If it's like a fee every time the game is live or like uh, uh, every month or something, I think something just like a one time fee or pay five or ten dollars for that share license. So you have access to do that. That's the only way I would feel like that would make sense. But he's probably thinking something like, well, you got to pay me a hundred dollars a month, dude. Man, get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's really like you. there's got to be like a structured way. Like I like your idea, Devin, about like, you know. It's like you know, when uh, you go to GameStop and like, you know, I mean, when was the last time anyone went to GameStop? But uh, and hypothetically speaking, if you would go to GameStop and they would ask you, hey, do you want to put a protection plan on this game or whatever? You know, just to add like a oh, like a five dollar fee or whatever for um, streaming. I think I wouldn't have any problem with that. I would gladly do that. But, uh, you know, just to arbitrarily just decide, hey, we're just going to start charging, you know, um, people licensing fees for playing our games is just um just ludicrous it's uh, it's outrageous and uh once again man uh no one's gonna remember in like two weeks 
nobody's gonna care that you said I mean this was a really cute hot take but no nobody's gonna nobody's gonna remember like this like ob I mean this is obviously one of those things where some like it's like one of those cries for attention man so I mean it's like 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 Terrence was saying that would be, like it's basically it would be the death of streaming and I nobody wants that so is is this it's good like hmm. All, it's almost it's almost insulting to have even for him to have even made that tweet in the first place, to be honest.